Hey there, welcome back to another video. In this video we will be going through burp suit. We will see what burp actually is, how it helps attackers to find vulnerabilities in web application. Before getting started if you don't know how to install burp suit and how does web works, you should go back and watch some previous videos of my ethical hacking series. Links are in the description box. So if you know how web works and you have burp suit installed in your device, let's get started. Burp suit helps you to add a proxy to your network layer. In simple words, burp suit acts as an intermediate layer between your browser and the server. It helps to see and modify the data going from your browser to the server. This helps attackers to bypass all the front-end restrictions and see the how the server responds. There are much more tools provided by the burp suit inside it. We will go through all of them one by one. So to start burp, you can go to applications and search for burp suit. Alternatively, you can even launch the burp from terminal. Open a terminal. Go to the installation location of the burp. Now type dot slash and the burp file name. So now you can see my burp suit is fired up successfully. Wait for a few seconds till your burp loads. Okay, so here burp is popping up some startup questions. In this window, it's asking us if we want to start burp with previously saved file. Unfortunately, burp suit community version does not support saving your files. You may need burp suite professional to save your files. But for now, burp suite community version is sufficient for our use. Let's get started with the default settings. Now it's asking us if we want to add some configuration files to burp. Configuration files consist of scopes which are defined for bug hunting. Companies generally sets a definite set of scope on which you are allowed to find the bugs. So this configuration file consists of the in scope and out of scope domains. If you have the configuration file, you can browse from here. For now, let's continue with the default settings. So now we have out burp CU fired up. By default, we'll end up on the dashboard menu. Dashboard menu shows the ongoing live tasks. Burp suit processes crawling of your target on background. You can create new tasks or stop ongoing tasks from here. Now let's go to proxy. Proxy is an intermediate layer between your browser and external servers. Burp proxy helps you to stop and see the requests going from your browser to the server. As in previous burps video, we have seen how to configure browser to your burp. Let's open our configured browser. Now let's switch the proxy to our burp form the foxy proxy extension and try rendering Google page. Okay, nothing happened. But if we go to our burp suit and check out history tab, you can see that multiple requests are gone to Google and other domains. You can open and see the request and the response of any domain. Let's open one of this request. You can see in get request is going top the browser with host is gstatic. Gstatic is a Google domain on which Google hosts its statics files. Similarity, you can see the request of other pages and the response you have received. Now let's see how we can pause the request going to the server and malform it as of our wish. To do so, go to intercept tab inside proxy. Turn the intercepting on by clicking on this button. Now each and every request going to the server will stop in our burp suit till you forward the request from here manually. Let's try to search something on Google. Make sure your proxy is tuned to burp. So you can see my page isn't loading. This is because the burp isn't allowing any request to go to the server till you turn off intercepting or forward the request manually. Let's switch back to burp suit. You can see the request which is going to Google. You can modify the data, headers, type of request going to the server from here. Let's try change the search query from intruder security to intruder security YouTube. Forward the request and turn the intercept of to avoid stopping of other request. Let's switch back to our browser. You can see that the search query has now been replaced by intruder security YouTube. So from intercept, you can go through the request and modify the request. Now we know how to see the request, let's go to Target tab. 
The Target tab allows you to keep track of all the domains went from your proxy. On the left side, you can see the domains which went through the your burp proxy. Burp helps you to give the dynamic tree representation of the domain and the tree is updated by crawling and the, the links you visit while the burp proxy is active. We saw in dashboard the burp suit starts crawling your target domains stated in in scope domains as you start off. The crawling updates this tree, allowing hacker to see the hidden files and directories which are hard to reach by normal user. So in this video we have seen what is burp suit, how burp suit helps to an attacker and how powerful the burp suit is. In the next video we will be going through the other tabs of the burp suit, repeater, intruder and much more soon. Till then goodbye and don't forget to hit like, share, subscribe button.